Jen could lose her job if she doesn't lose weight. The woman is put on weight probation by her bosses at the Hooters in Roseville. Our Lauren Fodell is there live, and Lauren, I understand you talked with her today. Carmen and Devin, I actually got to spend a lot of time with her and her mother, Maureen, who they're such a lovely family, and I think it's pretty safe to say that Hooters here is an image-based company, and Kathy is well aware of that. The kicker to this story is, though, she tells me that they hired her in, and she actually weighed more then than she does now, which is exactly why she's shocked that she's being forced to lose weight or lose her job. Kathy's Facebook page has been flooded with messages of support. The whole hockey team is behind you. <laughs> you go, girl. We're with you. This 20-year-old's world has been turned upside down when her managers called her in for a two-year review on Friday. Joined by two women on a conference call from Hooters' corporate office in Atlanta. The one woman went over my entire evaluation with me. Strong points, weak points. We worked on things that I excel in. You know, it's the normal. And all was normal until it came to her uniform evaluation. Don't they have it. my shorts and shirt size and not properly fitting anymore. Kathy is almost 5'8 and weighs 132 pounds and was brought to tears when she was given her options to improve. She proceeded to tell me they'd give me a free gym membership and that I was had 30 days. If I improved a little bit, I'd be given 30 more days. If I improved completely, they would leave me alone. And if I didn't improve at all, I would possibly be separated from the company. When we visited the Rose Hill Hooters, the assistant regional manager had nothing to say. Lauren put out from Local 4 News. Yeah, unfortunately, I had a comment. You not can... able to say anything I'm regarding sorry. this issue? I'm sorry, you can't even videotape in here. But when I contacted Hooters' corporate office, the VP of Marketing told us this. We will say that our practice of upholding an image standard based on appearance Attitude and fitness for Hooters girls is both legal and fair. It is not unlike the standard used by the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders or the Radio City Music Hall Rockettes. All right, Carmen and Devin, here's a little peace of mind. Kathy tells me that Hooters has three sizes for their uniforms. Get this, small, extra small, and double extra small. Kathy was currently wearing an extra small uniform as you saw in that piece and frankly I'm surprised anybody can get in those outfits. This story will definitely have a lot of people talking of all shapes and sizes. Reporting live in Roseville, Lauren Podell, Local 4. All right.